How's it going YouTube? Welcome to Alan's Tech Report and today we got another ad review. This time we're going to review the Samurai 2 Samurai 2 HD. This is a new app available for the iPad and it got released October 21st, 2010. We're under version 1.1 at the moment and looks like it has been tested with the iOS 4.0. It will take about 82.4 megabytes out of your space available. Language is available English at the moment. It requires at least iOS 3.2 or later if you want to play this app on the iPhone or the iPod Touch as well. Looking at the ratings, looks like we have 75 ratings total so far. Uh, it's been, keep in mind, it has only been three days that it's been released and it already has 75 ratings with 51 ratings being five stars and four being one star. Looks like so far we got a good 85% of the people liking this game the people who has actually purchased the game uh, keep in mind once again this app is available for the iPhone the iPod touch and the iPad if you own an iPad I highly recommend for $2.99 downloading this app it's very very much entertaining a lot of action going on and you'll love the graphics as well the special effects let's go ahead and move, move forward to the actual gameplay I'll just do a quick minute of the gameplay so you guys can have a feeling of what the actual game looks like. Just quick though, under help, you can actually look at the uh, all the uh, uh, parts of the game on the screen that it explains to you here what they indicate. You can move forward here, looks like what these barrels do, what these uh, uh, lock do, right here, also the to open up the gates as you move along with the games here's the combo list as well and let's go ahead, go ahead and look at the menu once again looks like in chapters you can choose if you actually unlocked a certain chapter that you might have already played so you can always go back and play that chapter you can also play dojo and as well of course the game itself so let's go ahead, go ahead and resume the game just so you guys know one more thing that I want to add there is two game modes normal level and hard level samurai and running let's go go ahead and do the resume so you guys can see the actual game and like I said I'll, I'll, I will do just a quick minute so you guys can actually see the gameplay here here's your d-pad and here's your your fighting buttons So far, D-pad is very well responsive. Like I said, a lot of features going on. And that's one of the things that I definitely uh, suggest, guys. Looking at the special effects on this game, it looks like it's, it's definitely being worked out really well. Showing up some really good special effects right there. Special on the uh, slow motion. Let's go ahead and keep in mind, guys. Uh, you'll as you go throughout the game, you'll be looking at uh, about at least 15 to 20 different uh, opponents coming up to you. Once you actually uh, go through all of them, you'll be able to unlock the path as I just did right now, right here, and go along with the game. So that's, and here we go, we got some more opponents here. Keep in mind guys, I'm in chapter 2 at the moment, and it looks like um, as the game goes along, you'll be uh, heading over, over to uh, a little bit more and more uh, difficult opponents that you will have to fight against. And then one last thing, let's go ahead. So there we go guys and we move along the game like I said uh, please so there we go guys pretty amazing graphics like I said very nice 
um, design scenes. Overall, I give it a good 9 out of 10 of the app just because the D pad could have been a little bit more on the bottom so you got more uh, grip on the iPad. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, rate and comment. As well, you can follow me on my Facebook and Twitter under Alan Seg Report. And uh, don't forget, the app is available on the App Store for $2.99. It is available now. It got released just three days ago. And uh, please stay tuned because I'll be making some more app reviews. And please let me know if you guys want me to review a certain app. Please let me know. Send me an email or send me a message. I'd be uh, more than happy to make an app review or whatever you guys are looking for or maybe any other uh, some uh, information whatever you guys are looking for for the iDevices. Alright guys, stay tuned and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.